Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be doing a close-up swatches of the new ABH Norena Collection Volume 1. So it came in a box, you know, cardboard box like this. Um, so when you open it, this is the palette. So it's pretty big. Um, to do a comparison to the other Anastasia palettes, this is what it looks like. So it is almost double the size and a little bit more. Um, so yeah, when you open it up, let me put it down, you get a huge mirror up here, and then all the shades are down here. So pretty colorful palette, um, you know, not for everyone, but I did want it to have it in my collection. I don't use these bold shades that often, but I did want it to have it to try the quality of them and also, you know. So I have so nice uh, pop of colors in my collection if I ever need them. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start swatching. All the names are um, letters and numbers. So we have row A, B, C, D, and E. And then there's numbers, so they go up to five. So I'm going to put it to the side and then we're going to start swatching. So the first shade we're going to swatch, I'm going to put my hand down here. So we're going to start with A1. So it's a um, pretty light purple shade. So this is what it looks like. Then the next one is A2. This one kicked up a little bit of product as you guys can see. Um, it's a pretty nice cute purple shade. The next one is A3 and it's also a matte purple with a little bit deeper than the prior one. Then we have A4, which is a golden shimmery shade. Coppery, more like when you swatch it. So this is what it looks like. And then to finish, we have A5, five, which is a fuchsia color. Really bold, also matte, and it, it kicks up a little bit of product. But that's the first row. Moving on to the next one, uh, so down B1 is also a purple shade, but I think it's a little bit lighter, yes. So it's lighter than the other ones, also a matte. So the next one is B2, which is a coppery shade, more copper than the prior. Then we have B3, which is also a sparkling shade, so pretty. Just like Barbie, kind of pink with shimmers. Then we have B4, which is another purple. So we have lots of purple, different tones of purples. As you guys know, Norvina loves her purples. And then we have B5 to finish that row. Sorry, I did it with my pinky. So let's do a little bit more of a swatch. That's it. So this is what those colors look like. So really bold and pigmented, every single one of them, this side. So the first one we're going to swatch is C1, which is the white in the, um, in the palette, matte white. The next one is C2, which is a pretty golden shade, nice and sparkly. The next one is C3. Just a little bit of a rose goldeny, coppery. That's stunning. Really pretty shade. And then we have C4. Another kind of purple shade, but really different from the other ones. This leans a little bit more rosy. And then we have C5, which is a stunning maroon. Wow, look at that. It kicks up a little bit of product, but it is really pigmented. Nice swatch, love that. Moving on to the D roll, uh, we're gonna do D1, which is a yellow matte color. Oh, not much we got from that swatch. Still not getting much. I'm actually digging into the pan, and that's what I get. So, not much pigment that yellow 
The next one is D2, which is a sparkly shade. Wow, that's stunning. That was unexpected. So it is a blue uh, and it has um, um, purple, um, purple sparkles. Really pretty. The next one is D3, which is a really bold fluorescent red. Wow, look at that. Really nice red. Have nothing like this in my collection. Then we have D4, which is another blue with uh, some sparkles. It swatches really nice. And then we have D5, which is the black. Look at that black. Nice. So this is what we have so far. First, second, third, and fourth row. And then to finish off our swatches, we have the last row, E. I, I'm just going to do it here. So starting with E1, super interesting shade. Peachy, golden, really stunning shade. And then we have E2, which is a matte orange. And then we have E3, which is another yellow also not super pigmented from this palette then moving up here we have um, E4 yeah that's really bold and then to finish off we have E5 wow look at this shade stunning so this is it you guys these are all the pretty swatches from the palette. What do you guys think? Okay, so let's talk about the palette. So uh, this is the Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. So I'm assuming they're going to come up with a Volume 2. Uh, it retails for $79 on the Sephora website. I was uh, lucky that I got it on sale the last day of uh, the uh, Sephora sale. So I got it at 20% off, which, you, which was really nice. Um, anyway, it has 
four and a half stars so people are liking uh, what they're working with uh, so it says a professional grade artistry palette featuring 25 deluxe size high pigmented shades uh, with maximum payoff curated by Norvina herself um, free of parabens and phthalates uh, this product is also vegan cruelty free and gluten free Norvina Pro Pigment uh, contains 25 highly pigmented iconic colors Daring, bright, and vibrant professional pigments in oversized pan to offer limitless possibilities. It's perfect for the artist who wants to have the ultimate color collection and for the makeup fanatic who is really to take their makeup creativity to the next level. So these shadows, they're advertising them as uh, pressed pigments. So they're really, really pigmented. Um, that is true. Um, anyways, guys, I think that the palette is really, really nice. I liked how uh, the four shades I work with blended out. It is really bold, I know. I mean, it isn't for everybody at all. I purchased it, to be honest, because I wanted to try the purples. I don't really have many purples in my collection, and I tend to not wear purple, and I want to. Uh, even today, I'm like, should I do a purple? And then I went with the maroons. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to do the purple look. If you guys want to see it, please let me know. Uh, I actually love Anastasia's shadows, so I'm not surprised that I really like this one. This isn't the everyday makeup for everybody, um, of course. Look at these colors, like it is more than a rainbow. Uh, it has so many like possibilities, um, but I did wanted to have it just, uh, you know, to have those purple colors in your collection. If you look for it, guys, that was all for today. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you like my swatches and I hope you like the look that I came up with. Please let me know in the comments down below. Do you want me to do more looks using this palette? Uh, let me know if you got it or not. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channels for more videos like this. And I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye, you guys.